The aesthetics of architecture is a complex interplay of form, function, and meaning. These elements, while distinct, are inextricably linked in the creation of buildings and spaces that not only serve practical purposes but also inspire, evoke emotions, and convey messages. Form, in the context of architecture, refers to the shape and structure of a building. It is the physical manifestation of the architect's vision and creativity. The form of a building is influenced by various factors, including the site, the intended use, the materials available, and the prevailing architectural styles and trends. Architects use form to create visual interest, to harmonize with the surrounding environment, and to express ideas and emotions. The form of a building can be simple and minimalist, or it can be complex and ornate. It can be designed to blend in with its surroundings or to stand out as a landmark. One of the most important aspects of form is proportion. Proportion refers to the relationship between the different parts of a building and between the building and its surroundings. It is a key element in creating a sense of harmony and balance. Architects use various techniques to achieve good proportions, such as the use of symmetry, the golden ratio, and modular grids. Proportion can also be used to create a sense of scale, making a building appear larger or smaller than it actually is. In addition to proportion, architects also consider the texture and color of the building materials. Texture refers to the surface quality of a material, which can be smooth, rough, polished, or matte. The texture of a material can affect the way light interacts with it, creating different visual effects. Color, on the other hand, can be used to create mood and atmosphere, to highlight certain features, and to create visual interest. Architects often use a combination of textures and colors to create a dynamic and engaging form. Function, in the context of architecture, refers to the practical use of a building. It is concerned with how well a building serves its intended purpose and how efficiently it meets the needs of its users. Functionality is a key consideration in the design process, as it ensures that the building is not only beautiful, but also practical and user-friendly. The functional requirements of a building vary depending on its intended use. For example, a residential building needs to provide comfortable living spaces, adequate natural light, and good ventilation. A commercial building, on the other hand, needs to provide flexible spaces that can accommodate different types of businesses, efficient circulation paths, and adequate parking. Public buildings, such as schools and hospitals, have their own specific functional requirements, such as accessibility, safety, and security. To ensure that a building is functional, architects conduct thorough research and analysis during the design process. They study the needs and behaviors of the building's users, analyze the site conditions, and consider the technical and regulatory requirements. They also collaborate with other professionals, such as engineers, interior designers, and landscape architects, to develop solutions that meet the functional requirements while also enhancing the form and aesthetics of the building. The meaning of architecture is perhaps the most subjective and intangible aspect. It refers to the symbolic and cultural significance of a building and the messages it conveys to its users and viewers. Meaning can be derived from various sources, such as the building's form, materials, decoration, and context. It can be influenced by the architect's intentions, the cultural and historical context, and the personal experiences and perceptions of the users and viewers. Architecture has always been a powerful medium for expressing ideas and values. Throughout history, buildings have been used to symbolize power, wealth, and status, to commemorate important events and figures, and to convey religious and philosophical beliefs. For example, the grandeur and opulence of the palaces and cathedrals of the Renaissance era reflect the wealth and power of the patrons who commissioned them, as well as the religious and cultural values of the time. The minimalist and functionalist designs of the modernist era, on the other hand, reflect the principles of simplicity, efficiency, and rationality that were prevalent in the early 20th century. In contemporary architecture, the meaning of a building can be even more complex and multi-layered. Architects often draw on a wide range of influences and references, from local traditions and cultural heritage to global trends and innovations. They use form, materials, and decoration to create buildings that resonate with their users and viewers on multiple levels. 
For example, a modern office building may incorporate elements of local architecture to create a sense of place and identity, while also using cutting-edge technology and sustainable design principles to convey a message of innovation and environmental responsibility. The interplay of form, function, and meaning in architecture is not always straightforward. These elements can sometimes be in tension with each other, requiring architects to make difficult choices and compromises. For example, a highly functional building may lack visual interest or symbolic meaning, while a building with a strong form and meaning may be less practical or user-friendly. Achieving a balance between these elements is one of the main challenges of architectural design, but it is also what makes it such a rich and rewarding field. One of the ways architects navigate this complexity is through the use of design principles and strategies. These principles and strategies provide a framework for making design decisions and help to ensure that the different elements of a building work together harmoniously. Some of the key design principles include unity, variety, rhythm, emphasis, and balance. Unity refers to the coherence and consistency of a building's design. It is achieved by using a limited palette of materials and colors, by repeating certain forms and patterns, and by ensuring that all the parts of the building relate to each other and to the whole. Variety, on the other hand, refers to the use of different forms, materials, and colors to create visual interest and avoid monotony. Rhythm refers to the repetition of elements, such as windows, columns, and openings, to create a sense of movement and flow. Emphasis refers to the use of focal points, such as entrances, towers, and sculptures, to draw attention and create a sense of hierarchy. Balance refers to the distribution of visual weight, achieved by arranging elements in a way that creates a sense of stability and equilibrium. In addition to these design principles, architects also use various strategies to enhance the form, function, and meaning of a building. For example, they may use natural light and ventilation to create a comfortable and healthy indoor environment, they may use sustainable materials and technologies to reduce the building's environmental impact, and they may use cultural and historical references to create a sense of identity and belonging. The aesthetics of architecture is also influenced by broader social, cultural, and technological trends. For example, the rise of digital technology has transformed the way architects design and construct buildings, enabling them to create more complex and innovative forms. The growing awareness of environmental issues has also led to a greater emphasis on sustainable design, with architects increasingly seeking to minimize the environmental impact of their buildings and to create spaces that promote health and well-being. In addition, the increasing diversity of society has led to a greater appreciation of different architectural styles and traditions, with architects drawing on a wide range of influences and references in their designs. This has resulted in a more eclectic and pluralistic approach to architecture, with buildings that reflect the diversity and complexity of contemporary society. Ultimately, the aesthetics of architecture is about creating buildings and spaces that enrich our lives and enhance our experience of the world. It is about creating forms that are not only beautiful, but also meaningful and functional, that respond to the needs and aspirations of their users, and that reflect the values and spirit of their time. It is about the art and science of creating places that inspire, delight, and endure.